Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play the Final Fantasy Legend 3. Last episode, Wedgie, Bullizzy, Bubbles, and Gilda uh, returned back to the present from the past. They rescued Laura in the past, and her magic's going to save Darm uh, eventually. So, uh, they were told by the Elder uh, to head over to uh, visit Cronus in Elan. Uh, Cronus has some information, but before we did that, we headed to the south there. Uh, to uh, just talk about that Ifram tree. Remember, we planted that in the past. So, in 15 years from the past, it grew up into a big tree, and it told us that uh, there's some units uh, in this area that uh, we're going to have to encounter. So, maybe that's what uh, Kronos is going to let us know uh, more about those units. So, I'll take out some uh, new enemies here scorpions and this Mustang. And we uh, return back. Uh, Every time we kind of return back to different area errors, uh, get some new enemies, you know. Which makes sense, because that way, you know, the enemies will scale with you, because if they, if we still were fighting the regular enemies um, when we first started in the present, uh, you know, they we just steamroll them, and they won't give us good experience and uh, money, so. So here we are back in uh, Elan, in the present Elan. You know, we're going to go see Cronus in this big house. Which apparently is Granny's house. But now I guess we went to Cronus. Hey, I found where Future is. Really? A monster called Assure in South Tower has it. Well, South Tower, we were by the South Tower. It's by the Ifram uh, tree, but it was locked. And now we see something coming out of the bay where Lao used to be. It's probably one of the four water entity monsters, either Chaos or Matreya. So hurry! South Tower Key, I copied it. Received the Tower Key. Looks like Chaos dwells in that castle. So we can head to that castle, but if we go into the castle, uh, when you get about halfway through, you're gonna come through a locked door. So we're gonna need the key to get into there. Uh, but we do, speaking of keys, we do have the key now to the South Tower. Uh, so, thanks to Cronus uh, there, we can actually enter the uh, South Tower. But before we do that, we're going to enter the water. We've got some new enemies to fight here, and some new shipwrecks to uh, explore. Uh, there'll be uh, two shipwrecks here in the present. Remember, there was one in the past. Here we got, and now there'll be two in the present here. Uh, and then there'll be three in the future. So each uh, era gets a new one. Uh, the one from the past is still here in the present. Uh, but if you looted it in the past, uh, the stuff is going to be looted here in the present. And the same thing too, if you didn't loot it in the past and you looted it in the present, uh, and then you go back to the past, it, the, the, the loot will be gone, so... Yeah, you can't like triple dip uh, by just looting everything in the future and then going back, looting in the, past, in the present and then going back looting in the past. So, yeah, the game prevents you from doing that. Probably because a lot of the times, if, uh, the treasure that you get, a lot of the shipwrecks uh, hold one of those uh, elemental stones that are used to make the best magics in the game uh, later on. And I guess they figure they'd be way too overpowered if you uh, had a whole bunch of those stones because you're limited in what magics you can, what super magics you can kind of make. Because there's a limit to how many stones there are, so. Speaking of stone, oh no, Wedgie just got turned into stone! But uh, we got some soft potions here to uh, heal him back up. So I guess they realized that, uh, and then we realized they can uh, defeat Wedgie with uh, damage, because he has maxed out defense and he has so many hit points. So we'll turn him into stone, but we'll give him that soft potion and he's back to normal again. Look at him wagging his tail there, he's so happy. That tail wagon. My bad here, uh. Bub, he was wagging his tail earlier when I was petting him, so. It's weird sometimes. Of course, they, you know, they do that sometimes, but it's, they're not like dogs that wag their tails a lot when they're really happy. Sometimes, yeah, the rat will occasionally uh, wag his tail, so. So there is uh, the castle. It's either Chaos or Matreya's. Matreya, uh, I'll spoil it, it's Chaos's castle. So, 
but we're going to uh, avoid going there right now. Like I said, uh, you could go in there, but like I said, you're only going to get halfway through the uh, the dungeon before they uh, you're going to have to turn around because you don't have the chaos key. So, so but instead, we'll just uh, get these shipwrecks. Uh, we can also head to uh, Moo uh, in the present now that we can dive underwater. And then we'll finish off with the South Tower. The South Tower, much like the North Tower, it's uh, very small. Uh, it's only uh, four floors. There's a few uh, new enemies in it, though. Uh, so it's a little tougher than the uh, North Tower. Plus, there'll be a boss, uh, we we're told, uh, Ashura. So they always uh, joke that Ashura uh, gets downgraded in every single one of the Final Fantasy Legends. Uh, if you watch my playthrough of Final Fantasy Legend 1, Ashura was the uh, penultimate boss. Uh, Ashura was the kind of grand evil that the creator, the main bad guy of the game, made to test people's resolve. Uh, Ashura was like the boss of the creator's game, so... But then we defeated Ashura, and then we climbed back up the tower and learned about what the creator did, so... Uh, yeah, Ashura was the... Like I said, penultimate boss, basically. So, the major bad hyped up throughout the entire game. Uh, in Final Fantasy Legend 2, uh, Ashura was the first of the new gods that you fought. Uh, could potentially be a, a roadblock boss. Uh, so, but you know, still can be a little difficult. Uh, but you do have a good helper there with Mask to uh, take him out. Uh, and then in this game, he's just a minion of one of the uh, water minion, water elements minions. So he's like a henchman to a henchman. So sure, getting the the D grades. He's I guess with uh, with failure comes lower uh, responsibilities. Well, let's finish off these uh, monsters here. Uh, after this. Uh, We've already looted this uh, ship here. Uh, we're going to head to uh, Mu uh, in the present here, and we're going to there. We're going to buy the kick martial arts uh, in preparation for uh, Gilda eventually transforming into uh, into a beast. Uh, we want to wait until a level 13 or 14 to have Gilda uh, turn into uh, a beast, because at that level, uh, if Gilda uh, eats uh, fire monster or fire beast meat, uh, she will turn into uh, an air beast. And uh, between levels 13 and 14, that air beast is uh, a sylph. This is one of the fairy monsters. Fairy monsters fly, and that's going to be good because Chaos, I said uh, previously, like Ashura and Final Fantasy Legend 2 is kind of like maybe first like a uh, stepping stone boss or like a potential wall. Uh, boss. Uh, in this game, uh, the tough boss, the first real tough boss, real challenge, is going to be this chaos boss um, in that uh, chaos tower that we saw uh, pop out of the lay bay. Uh, and uh, chaos uses a group hit uh, quake. And one of the good things about uh, the sylph uh, beast is it flies. So it's strong against Quick, so it won't take a lot of damage. So that'll uh, definitely help out, uh, help us deal with that uh, tough monster. So yeah, we've got to be on the lookout for like once you hit level 13, looking for some fire monster or fire beast meat. Either of them will transform Gilda into uh, 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 an air uh, beast. Kick martial art. I said beast have that double multiply with uh, uh, martial arts. So and we can see that the uh, disease in Lei has spread to Mu down here. So now uh, the characters down here are becoming uh, those water hags. Get the cure two spell. Give that to Brizzy, and then we'll give the lit one spell to Bubbles. 
speaking of transformations in Brizzy, uh, Brizzy will eventually be becoming uh, a cyborg as well uh, to make his transformation. Because we're getting some pretty good equipment. Help, I'm losing my self control. And that tear gas that we found is a really good uh, weapon. We'll see uh, a good weapon to equip on cyborgs. It's not a really good weapon to use uh, in battle because it's basically like a one use item. Uh, but when we become a cyborg, we'll have talents, uh, similar to how uh, Wedgie has the robot talents, like the dash and the beam. Uh, well, the cyborg will also get those talents, so uh, the cyborg can equip the, uh, the uh, tear gas, get really good stats from the tear gas, and then uh, never have to worry about using it uh, as a one-time use item. Because uh, uh, Wizzy will just be using the cyborg skills. One of the reasons why we want to start transforming into a cyborg is because we're getting a lot of this uh, new upgraded equipment. We're getting some gold boots, uh, dragon uh, gauntlets. So, yeah, right now the um, equipment is no longer like, you know, the generic vanilla, like leather and level 1 and level 2 type equipment. So, we'll actually, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, start seeing some decent bonuses. Uh, like I said, the uh, cyborgs in this game are like the robots in Final Fantasy Legend 2, where uh, you give them more expensive equipment, uh, they'll get better stats uh, and bonuses from it. So, like I said, now we're starting to get some of this pretty good uh, uh, equipment, so. And we'll be able to see that, because when uh, Brizzy eventually becomes a cyborg, uh, we'll notice that like his hit points will dramatically increase, so. Cyborgs, unlike robots, still will be able to uh, maintain magic points. Uh, we notice that Brizzy doesn't have uh, any magic points because uh, robots don't get magic. But cyborgs will still maintain uh, some uh, magic. So uh, Brizzy will still be able to function uh, as the healer that uh, we kind of set him up to be. So sure is apparently calling all these water hags. Well, we better leave out of here because uh, we might catch the disease. Luckily, we don't have to worry about catching the disease. It's not like the game will punish us. So here's uh, an interesting thing. You see that uh, shipwreck there? It is uh, in between like a whole bunch of like volcanoes. So you have to surface uh, and then um, go over the volcanoes and then uh, sink back down to reach this shipwreck. Got a thunder uh, cane there. Uh, that can be used uh, in battle, uh, used as an item in battle, and it casts uh, the Lit 1 spell with a magic power of 42, so uh, it's better than the Fire Staff, which casts Fire 1 uh, with a magic power of 26, so and it's actually a pretty decent uh, item uh, to use, so. We'll still keep uh, Brizzy, though, with the... Uh, uh, what you call it with the uh, uh, PSI knife because it gives him uh, the uh, plus five agility. But as you can see here, I'm going to use that uh, thunder rod right now, and you'll see that it casts like the lightning spell, which is good against uh, a lot of these uh, fish and water uh, enemies. That's a lot of the. Like most uh, Final Fantasies, uh, water creatures will be weak to, uh, they'll be weak to the, uh, lightning element. They'll also be weak to, uh, uh, uh Wedgie bashing into them with his, uh, dash attack. Mighty Blow, though. Mighty Blow basically does double the damage, uh, to... Wedgie with those uh, massive 99 defense, still taking no damage from some enemies. So yeah, we don't want uh, we don't want water meat. Like I said, we want the uh, fire meat. Uh, and that's what we'll turn Gilda. Gilda uh, is a earth elemental, so we're going to turn to uh, an air. Our earth has to eat fire. Now we're just going to float back down to the south tower. 
I usually keep episodes like, you know, 15, 16 minutes, but the South Tower is really uh, short, so I'm gonna head down to the South Tower. And, uh, you put uh, that key that Chromus gave us to use. So all those shipwrecks are up on the northern part of the uh, map. The, uh, the, like the north uh, east, and then the, uh, there's the one of the volcanoes, and then like the north center. That's where the, uh, the first one was by uh, Moo. There's more uh, new enemies here. Not a whole bunch of new enemies. Uh, I didn't do it right now, I'll do it eventually later. But uh, all those like Iron Rose type monsters are going to be a, a few new ones coming up. Uh, they're all weak to ice, so uh, Bubbles can still use uh, the magic, uh, her ice magic, to deal some decent damage to them. She's unfortunately taken quite a bit of damage there. That's, I guess, the good thing about like uh, monsters and uh, cyborgs and beasts. Uh, they can still, you know, use magic. bought a gold sword for uh, Gilda there back in Mu. A little bit more damage, uh, a little bit of a stronger weapon compared to the silver sword. Which doesn't make sense because, you know, gold is like a very malleable metal uh, and, you know, it's, it's soft. Probably would make a good weapon. Uh, but, like I said, I have plans on getting a uh, fire monster or fire beast meat and turning uh, Gilda into that uh, Air Beast, the Sylph, and then she'll start using the Martial Art. So notice the tower is pretty much set up the same way uh, the North Tower was, they're almost like mirror images of each other. There's treasure chests in different locations though, like in the North Tower there's a treasure chest to the south there, but you didn't need to go down this way, to, there's no treasure chest in this one, so. So that's a pretty, uh, pretty straight shot. Unfortunately, uh, you can't turn around, uh, so we're gonna have to fall down this hole. And, uh, could have saved that for me uh, on our way back down, but I want to grab the treasure right now. Yeah, you can't uh, turn whenever you uh, you can't like stand still and, and change direction. Whenever you make a change in direction, you, your character takes that step. They. Uh, game makes some not really tricky puzzles with that, but it's something to keep in mind for some future dungeons. Return the units ashore, or else. The units are already moved to Chaos's castle. I'll give you something else. And we have Ashura. Uh, he comes with uh, two lizard men. So, this time we'll actually take them out first, and then we'll concentrate on uh, Ashura. We don't have to... I always showed off that, you know, uh, if you defeat the boss and the minion's still around, uh, he'll still stick around and uh, you have to defeat every single enemy on the screen. Minions will not just uh, give up when their bosses are taken out. I said we'll take care of the minions first because, you know, they have less hit points, and then it's just, you know, one less attack we have to deal with, so... And, uh... Ashura here, uh, like I said, uh, we're gonna start noticing that enemies in this game's bosses, they tend to have a lot of hit points, so even with uh, Wedgie being at, you know, max stats, uh, max hit points, uh, max attack, uh, you know, it's still gonna take a while to cut through uh, Ashura's hit points. Luckily, uh, Ashura uses fire a lot. And both Wedgie and uh, Bubbles are uh, strong against fire. Wedgie just the robot strong against fire. And it makes sense that uh, Bubbles will be strong against fire because uh, she's a fireball. Dunk. Punch, not too bad. I think that Shiro and Final Fantasy Legend 2 used the, the flame. Uh, this one's just using fire, 
a single target, but uh, Final Fantasy Legend 2, that was a, I think, uh, a sure used flame. It hurt everybody in the party. Now he's just punching. A sure was, uh, in Final Fantasy Legend 2, was just a goblin who used the Magi and moved two other hands and another arm and another belly on uh, his uh, a face on his belly. Don't know why, uh, what the background of this Ashura is, but... I know that Ashura is just a minion of a minion. Chaos, the minion. But we have to take care of Ashura because uh, defeating Ashura will get us that key that I mentioned. Uh, the Chaos Key, which will allow us to actually get into... Uh, not necessarily into Chaos Castle, because you can get into Chaos Castle uh, without it, but get uh, into the main part of Chaos Castle. Chaos Castle, just, um, I'm not much to talk about this, uh, I guess this boss, is uh, basically it's going to be like an underwater level part, and then that's where you get to the, uh, the rear split, and uh, where you need the key, and then you uh, open the door, and then it takes you like upstairs, you know, like to the above part of the uh, castle, so. Uh, we'll explore that in the next episode. Here's the monsters we all encountered. So take care, have a good one, and see you in the next episode. Bye!